Hi, Vinyl Community. What's going on? I'm Mike. This is Hubtunes. We got Vinyl Finds for September 2024. Uh, summer's over. <laughs> we are uh, heading into fall, aren't we? And then the holidays will be here. Uh, it was a good summer, though. A beautiful summer in Chicago. Um, absolutely gorgeous. We did not go over... I don't think we went over 100. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we went over 100 the whole whole summer. We had a couple of humid days here and there, but mostly we were in the mid-80s and sunny. It was a beautiful, beautiful summer in Chicago. It was really nice. So, bye, summer. I'm going to miss it. I, I, I love summer. I don't mind fall, so... But winter, we'll talk about later. Uh, I got six records bought this month. Um, some good stuff. I uh, stayed under budget, or right on budget, because uh, I kind of went over budget last month. And um, yeah, so let's get right into. Oh, I have probably the record of the year. This might be the. I'm gonna. I have two. I have two new releases that are going to be very, very high on my year-end list. One of them might be number one. Uh, I probably say that a lot, but this thing, I can't stop listening to it. Uh, and the other one's going to be in the top four or five, no doubt about it. Um, so I'm going to hold those to the end so you watch. <laughs> um, the first one, I finally bought one of these Atlantic 75 anniversaries, uh, 45 RPMs. I Honestly, none of them really interested me. Uh, this is the first one where I actually, it was announced and I placed the order right away. Uh, this is one of my favorite albums of all time. It is The Velvet Underground's Loaded. Uh, Lou Reed has taken over the band. John Cale has left. And it, Lou is all over this record. This is a Lou Reed record. Uh, it, but it's great. It's absolutely wonderful. Doug Yule comes in on piano, keyboard, vocals, uh, acoustic guitar. He's kind of a multi-instrumentalist. Like... John Cale was. Um, man, if they all sound like this, what an improvement over it. The original's not a great sounding record. Uh, this is a great sounding record. They have improved this thing by a mile. So this will be my go-to from now on. My old one that I've had since eighth grade is uh, no longer going to be played. This is the way to listen to this record. They did an absolutely spectacular job. I'm not the biggest um, uh, 45 RPM guy, but if that's what it takes to get this record to sound this good, I'm on it. Uh, Who Loves the Sun, the dreamy psychedelic song uh, to open it, uh, the classic Sweet Jane, and my favorite song on here is Rock and Roll. Absolute perfection. Uh, the, the Absolute perfection. The whole thing is great. Cool It Down is awesome. Uh, head Held High, Lonesome a Cowboy Bill. The, this is a masterpiece of an album. I just love it. A lot of people don't consider it like an under, underground record. Uh, just because John Cale's gone, and you know, but I, I still love it, and it would be their final record, I believe. Um, so, yeah, great, great, absolutely worth the money, absolutely worth the money. Very glad I got that. This is an album that has just passed me by. Uh, every time I see it in the store, I think, oh, you should grab that, and I don't. <laughs> and I see it again, and I don't, uh, you know, and it just, so I finally, you know, and I just, I, I saw it the other day, it's a reissue, it's not an OG or anything, but it, it's such a cool record, and I was like, you know, you need this in your collection, um, and that is uh, John Martin, uh, Solid solid Air, uh, really good record, if you like psych, folky, punk, or punk, <laughs> psych, kind of folk psych stuff, um, I have a bunch of his records, but they're all acoustic. Uh, well, not all acoustic, but they're all instrumental guitar stuff. Uh, but this one has got some great vocals on it. Uh, some just some really good songs. If you like just that '70s, early '70s folky psych stuff, I, I, this is a masterpiece. If you like that stuff, uh, the opener is great. Solid air. Over the hill is awesome. Uh, I'd rather be the devil is great. Side two opens up with uh, go down easy, which is probably the highlight of the album uh his his version and i mean he wrote the song is may you never which was covered by eric clapton that is on um that is uh on slow hand i think may you never is on slow hand uh terrific version uh just a really really good record i i it sounds really good too also uh i'll say really good one more time 
uh, universal. Yeah, it doesn't say. It's it's just a nice sounding uh, reissue. I I was really pleased with it. Just boring black vinyl. Um, excellent stuff. It was originally on Island, I believe. I believe he was originally on Island. But check this out. Stream it. If you like that 1973-74 era of folky psych, that's a top-notch record, man. Uh, this is uh, an album I've been wanting for a while on vinyl. Uh, vinyl Me Please had exclusive rights to her catalog, and we're releasing them on colored vinyl and stuff. And I didn't want to deal with Vinyl Me Please. It's just not my thing. I'm sure it's great. The records I have of Vinyl Me Please sound incredible. But now that licensing is over and now they're using those plates <laughs> for black vinyl. And you can just buy them in uh, record stores. And this is Fiona Apple. This is her album title. I believe this is her debut. And it is 45 RPM unfortunately. Uh, but it sounds wonderful. It's got to be the same plates. It's just, it's on black, black vinyl, you know, no color. I paid $26 for this thing. <laughs> and it's, it's my favorite Fiona Apple album. And um, I don't know, I shouldn't say that. It changes from day to day with her. I just dig her. I think she's so cool. I'm going to get her other ones too. But man, I saw, I saw the next one, uh, the Pawn, uh, pawns one uh the one with a really long title it was like 60 bucks for the same pro like i don't know i'm not paying 60 bucks so i'm gonna kind of wait that out a little bit but sleep to dream is one of my favorite fiona apple songs it opens this album it's so damn good and then the single was criminal i believe and uh, that's a great song too pale september is awesome this is a great record so if you like fiona apple or if you're looking to get into fiona apple start here Really good record. I, I I dig it. I'm very happy to have that, even though it's on 45. Uh, the next, this is um, this is a cool band. They're kind of a collective, I believe. It might even just be two guys. Uh, and I've talked about them before. They're a band called Seventy Five Dollar Bill. Um, Mazzy actually turned me on to them. Uh, Norman Mazloff. You can check out his channel. Um, he showed one of their records. I think it's called. Um, I can see it right here. Uh, Am I Real? I think it's called Am I Real? Something like that. It's their most recent album. And they've slowly gone back, and they only have like three or four records. And they're out of New York, and they've been slowly going back and just reissuing or repressing some of their old older ones. And, um, you know, it's it's private press. They're not the greatest sound quality. But it's cool freaking music. And this is... The 75, I guess I could show it. $75 build. I believe this is their debut. Um, it's on Thin Wrist Recordings. And basically what it is, is it's just guitar, but it's it's transient. It, transient. <laughs> it's like trans music. It's not transient. <laughs> it's trans music, but on guitars. And it, it's just really cool. It's called Wood Metal Plastic. Um... And I'll, I'll read the hype sticker. Uh, one of New York's most vital new bands, $75 Bill, creates hypnotic, pulsating music that weaves an aesthetic line from raw electric blues, Arabic modes, and entrancing folk minimalism back to the streets of New York. <laughs> this is not... Uh, this, uh, is that brilliant special? This, this might be their second record. Uh, but it's, it's it's really done well. It's on a um, kind of like a the it, it's textured. The, um, the 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 cover is textured. It, it's really good. Uh, check them out. You can stream them. They're all all their stuff is available to stream. It's not for everybody. It's not jazz. It's not electronic. It's kind of like it's not spiritual. It's kind of like in the middle. You know, it's it's interesting stuff. You're not gonna like sit down and you're not gonna it's good background music you know if you're cleaning the house and you're kind of in that mood or you know you have a little edible or something um it, it really good stuff i now have all their records uh if this is their second i have all of them except for the first um so hopefully they'll be doing it uh this actually came from the guy's house <laughs> uh, the uh on the package it was the guy in the band like that's how small uh private pressing this stuff is uh they do tour but only East Coast, it looks like. I've tried to, I've said stuff on their uh, Facebook page and they don't, I, they're not coming here. <laughs> they're not coming to Chicago. Um, 
Okay, this might be album of the year. I just, I am a huge fan of this record. And this is Jack White. His new album, No Name. Uh, I don't know about this artwork. <laughs> I'm a little on the fence about it. Um, yeah, I've been, I don't know. I think he could have done better with the artwork. But I get it. Uh, this, I, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Jack White. Uh, I was not a huge fan of, uh, <laughs> the elephant pet, <band. laughs> the, the, uh, the white stripes. I was not, wow, brain cramps, man. I'm getting old. Uh, I was not a big fan of the white stripes. I don't know why. I do like them. I, I. I go back and I listen to the White Stripes and I, I like them more now than I liked them back then. Uh, but I love his solo shit. The Tours are the best band he's ever had. They're so good. And his solo stuff, I mean, that first solo album and uh, Lazaretto, the second one, they're great. And this one is better than those. This is, Jack White is back. If, if people thought he went away... And it, this is a rockin' record. This thing smokes. I mean, every song on here all the way through is just killer. I got the black version. Um, there was a blue version. Uh, it sold out pretty quick. Um, but, man, so the highlights. Uh, the song Bless Yourself, the second song is great. Old Scratch Blues that opens it. That's awesome. Um, That's How I'm Feeling is my favorite song on the record. Uh, the uh, Archbishop Harold Holmes Awesome freaking song. Awesome. Uh, and the song that closes outside one, What's the Rumpus? Great song. Just, this whole album just kicks ass. The, all the songs are pretty short. There's only one song that's a, over four minutes. So it's tight. It's concise. It is Jack White doing weird-ass guitar noises. Um, yeah, the, the whole second side is great. I have not spun it yet. We all know about Third Man Records. It... I took it out earlier. It's really clean. It's really clean. And I know, you know, we know what the quality of Third Man Records can be. My guess is they take a little more care with his records than they do with some of their other issues. Uh, but this, guys, I, I just, I, I just dig the way he arranges a rock song. He twists things, and he, that noise he gets out of his guitar and his band that he backs him up is just right on key with him. They know exactly what he wants, and I, I just, I dig Jack White, and this is, right now, as of September, it's my favorite album of the year. This album, I've been waiting for for 25 years, and it's worth the wait. Another release, it was, just came out a couple weeks ago, and this is... The packaging was kind of weird. Uh, this is the the. It is Ensoulment. This is their first album in twenty five years. I saw them live about four years ago, and they were absolutely wonderful. Uh, but they didn't release an album. They played a couple of new songs, which I believe are on here. Uh, if you like the the, the album Infected, uh, Mind Bomb. I mean, just great records from the eighties and nineties. Um, this is right up there with those. This is really good. His voice has changed a little bit. He has had some health issues over the years. Um, and it's also not the original band. It's all, it's kind of a collective now. It's basically just a rotating cast of musicians behind him. Um, but this thing, it's really good. It's very political. If you're one of those people, I don't want politics in my music. Don't bother <laughs> you you won't like it but um yeah this i mean side two opens with kissing the ring of potus there you go um but yeah this 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 is fantastic it sounds terrific absolutely wonderful sound the artwork i dig the uh, cover jack white you should do something interesting um just black vinyl uh but it came with a really nice booklet. This thing, this is a heavy booklet. And this thing has got, I mean, it's just, it's got all kinds of shit going on in here. Um, 
tells it's got all lyrics for all the songs and then who plays on what song and a bunch of cool artwork and stuff but uh super excited for this record this has been a real treat a real surprise because i you know i mean i knew this was coming out but i wasn't expecting it to be this good and you know they they released a couple of songs early i hate when bands do that by the way i hate when bands like will release like three songs from the upcoming album and you can't get the context for the whole album you know i remember uh, wilco did that with their most recent album they released like two or three songs they released two songs and I listened to them and I was like, well, they're all right. But then when you get the whole album together and you pull it all together and it all comes into one, they were so much better in the context of the whole album. I, I don't, I, sometimes I don't even listen. Like if I hear, um, if I hear a song is being released from an upcoming album, sometimes I just ignore it now until the whole album comes out. I, I really don't like that. That is my biggest pet peeve. <laughs> It's not going to change because of me. <laughs> They're going to keep doing it. Uh, so that's it. Yeah. Wow. Uh, good month. Really good month for music. Uh, I, I I am really enjoying some of these records. So, um, yeah. Questions, comments, now your marks. What did you buy? Comments below. Um, yeah, that's it. You guys, um, going to go on camping in two weeks. So I, I think I'll make a video before I go and then put it up. Or I might just take the damn week off. I could do that. Talk to you soon. Bye.